Hello, Times Crossword, let's go. Old evil upset speakers, they may go into further detail. Well, speakers and they suggest the word ends in S, but I'm not getting the rest. Fool was unwell being attacked. This is assailed. Fool is ass. Was unwell is ailed. And assailed means being attacked. Cold, it's time to wear a hat. It's good to wear a hat, rather. And we're looking for a word meaning cold. Good is often G or PI for pious. And there's a question mark after cold. Ah, I think this is algid. So I think algid does mean cold. Good is G, the abbreviation. To wear a hat, to wear a lid. Lid being slang for a hat. Old slang. Diary about daughter is something precious. This is gold. Diary is log. About is a reversal indicator. And daughter is D, the abbreviation. And gold is something precious. Sarah is turning up as... Apostle's companion. This is Silas. So Sarah is Sal. Sal is short for Sarah. Is is is. Turning up is a reversal indicator. And Silas is a companion of the Apostle Paul, I think, in the Bible. A noise sides playing with interrupting requests. So I think this means a noise, sides playing. I think playing is likely to be an anagram indicator for sides. With interrupting requests. So I think there's a word for requests inside an anagram of sides. And the whole thing means a noise. So it probably ends in an S. Scorn. During school tests, they inflict unnecessary pain. I think this is sadists. So scorn is dis, as in disrespect. During school tests, well, SATs, S-A-T-S, are school tests in the United Kingdom. So dis during SATs gives sadists who are people who inflict unnecessary pain. Strip joint, vulgar, first to go. I wonder if this is divest. To divest is to strip. A joint is a dive, as in a seedy nightclub. Vulgar, first to go. Well, I'm not seeing how that gives ST. But I feel that divest does mean strip, so I'm going to leave that in with a question mark at the moment. Popular army officer, usually. Let me get rid of this nonsense. Because 16 down is in general. So, popular is in, army officer is general, and in general means usually. Let me return to this one. Strip. I wonder if this is denude. Denude means strip. Joint is den. And vulgar is rude. First to go, remove the first letter. Member turning to entertain a Highlander. This is Gale. Member is leg. Turning is a reversal indicator to entertain or include A, A. And then a Gale is a Highlander, as in the Highlands of Scotland. Legal opinions in old rambling diatribe enthralling court. I think this is obiter dicta. 
So obiter dicta are side comments, therefore legal opinions. In old, O, the abbreviation. Rambling is an anagram indicator for diatribe. Enthralling or including court, CT, the abbreviation for court. Report of solitary advance, this is loan. So report is a homophone indicator. So solitary is loan, L-O-N-E, and that sounds like L-O-A-N, which means advance, as in to lend or advance money. Excessively severe, maidens possibly, sconed we hear. Excessively severe. I wonder if this is over strict. It fits the definition of excessively severe. Maidens are overs in cricket. Possibly conned we hear. So we hear again is a homophone indicator and conned is tricked, which sounds like T-R-I-C-T. Bloke holding drick, drick, drink, drunk. Bloke holding drunk up is a sugary type. Sugars tend to end O-S-E with their chemical names. And drunk is often sot and up looks like a reversal indicator. The bloke may or may not be reversed. And we're looking for a sugary type. Maltose is a sugar. So bloke is male. Holding drunk up, holding sot reversed, and that gives maltose. E, not helpful. Oliver's college. Yeah, I think this is Goldsmith's. So Oliver Goldsmith is an author, and Goldsmith's college is a college in, I think, Oxford University, but I may be wrong on that. So, five down. Lack of concern shown briefly by Vicky and Priscilla. I wonder if this is disinterest, disinterestedness. Disinter... Well, it certainly isn't. It clashes with goldsmiths. I wonder if it's uninterestness. No, it's not. I think it might end nus. So lack of concern could certainly end nus and looks like the definition. Shown briefly by Vicky and Priscilla. No. Gosh, no more clues for 26 across and these don't look helpful. A noise. Sides playing with interrupting requests. So just to complete the anagram of sides, we can put an E in here. So I think we're looking for requests, which are please. And then we have displeases, which is a noise. Playing is an anagram indicator for sides with interrupting requests with please interrupting. Fantastic. So that's most of the bottom half of the grid done. Eight minutes down. Old evil upsets speakers. They may go into further detail. Well, elaborators could go into further detail. Does this fit the word play? Old evil upset. Well, upset is a reversal indicator for, for O for old and bail, which means evil, I think. And then speakers. Okay, let me restart. I think bail is an old word for evil. So if we reverse bail, we get elab. And then speakers are orators and elaborators may go into further detail. Royal survivor giving what is expected to an audience. To an audience looks like a homophone indicator. 
Royal Survivor. No. Prisoner with fantastic chatter. Prisoner could be con. Yeah, this is confab. So prisoner is con, short for convict. Fantastic is fab, short for fabulous. And confab is short for confabulation, which is a word for chatter. Great F and B look like helpful crossing letters. Support given to female. One socialist worked out badly. This is backfired, I think. So support is back, given to female, given to F, the abbreviation for female. One is I and socialist is red and backfired means worked out badly. Now, no more help for this clue. Royal Survivor giving what is expected to an audience. Wow, this is a scary situation. So many words fit this letter pattern. And, well, and there's going to be so many more words which are homophones of these words. The definition looks like royal survivor. Let me consider this third letter. There can't be too many letters which go between A and R. So I'm just going to mentally go through the possibilities. E is a remote possibility. I is certainly possible. And U is possible. Possibly Y. So it looks like all vowels. So supposing that was I, which I think is the most likely. Royal Survivor. I'm now considering the initial letters. Nothing so far. Wow, no, I'm not getting that. Giving what is expected to an audience. A and R are definitely correct. I'm going to have to come back to that, but it's a, a frightening prospect. Do for one, bishop and cleric, looking back, this is a verb. So do is an example of a verb. Bishop is B, the chess abbreviation. Cleric is rev, short for reverend. Looking back is a reversal indicator. Pub, about to sway with English song. I feel this begins bark, pub is bar, about is C, L an abbreviation for circa, Latin for about. To sway, yeah, this is barca rule. So C is an abbreviation for circa, but so is CA. And then to sway is to roll with English with E and a barker roll is a song. Food that is eagerly sought by numismatist. I think a numismatist is a coin collector. So food that is eagerly sought. Yeah, this is rare bit. Rarebit is a type of food. I think it's cheese on toast. That is eagerly sought by numismatist question mark. Well, a bit is a coin. So a rare coin would be sought by a coin collector. Performer. One sensible about places like London, not half. No. Is part-time working offering a sense of togetherness? Nope. Scottish town hospital attended by a poet. No, and there are quite a few Scottish towns. Veg, quite, not quite enough for a feast. No. Okay, I don't think I had looked at all of the down clues. 
jolly lot with very big drink container. That is the day for assassination, foremost of tragedies. This is id est. So id est is Latin for that is. The day for assassination is Ides because Julius Caesar was assassinated on the Ides of March. Foremost of tragedies is the foremost or first letter of the word tragedies. Musical group turning up that may be in the groove. No, so I think I have looked at all clues and top right to go plus 14 across. Scottish town, hospital attended by a poet. Veg, not quite enough for a feast. No. Performer, one sensible about places like London, not half. I wonder if one sensible is a realist. That would place a T here. Musical group turning up. That may be in the groove. Well, an octet, a nonet, yeah, tenon. So a musical group, a nonet, is a musical group of nine people. Turning up is a reversal indicator. That gives tenon, and it may be in the groove because you have a tenon is a type of joint in carpentry. Wow, another clue rather similar to 14 across. These are super common letters. Veg. Not quite enough for a feast. So this is bean. Bean is a veg. And a feast is a beano. Not quite enough means beano misses its last letter. Scottish town. Okay, a lot of towns end ton. Hospital. Hospital could be san. It could be h. Attended by a poet. Yeah, this is Hamilton. So Hamilton is a town in Scotland. Hospital is H, the abbreviation. Attended by or next to a poet. A is A and poet is Milton. Great. H and M look like helpful letters. Jolly lot with very big drink container. Yeah, this is thermos. So... Jolly is a slang word for a Royal Marine. So a jolly lot could be the RM, the Royal Marines, with very big, with OS, short for outsize, I think a clothing abbreviation. And then a thermos is a drink container. It's a flask for keeping drinks hot. Is part-time working? Offering a sense of togetherness. I think working is an anagram indicator for is part time. It certainly contains TS and two I's. So we're looking for a sense of togetherness, which is an anagram of is part time. So what's left is P A R T M E. Sense of togetherness, question mark. Team spirit. Yes, few. I'm starting to give up a little bit of hope on that, but let me just check. Is this really an anagram of is part-time? I think it is. Five down. Lack of concern. Shown briefly by Vicky and Priscilla. If it does end Ness, what in the word play is cluing Ness? Shown briefly by Vicky and Priscilla. The whole thing meaning a lack 
of concern. Well, cold heartedness. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. I think this is cold heartedness. Let me just spell it correctly. Cold heartedness. So both Vicky and Priscilla have C as the central letter. C is an abbreviation for cold. So Vicky and Priscilla could be said to have cold hearts. And cold heartedness means a lack of concern. Let me momentarily pause and do my typo check. All of the acrosses look good. Just wondering about Silas. In case I've I'm mistaking that for a different person. So Silas, 22 down. Sarah is turning. That's definitely right. OK, four across. Performer. One sensible about places like London, not half. Yeah, this is recitalist. So a recitalist is one who recites or performs. One sensible is a realist about places like London. Well, London is a city, so places like London are cities, not half. Well, cities without its second half is CIT. So CIT in realist gives recitalist. Now, one clue to go 21 minutes down. Royal survivor giving what is expected to an audience. What could this be? Royal Survivor. Yes, few. So, Henry VIII had six wives. Five of them were killed or divorced, I think. And one survived, and I think Catherine Parr was the one who survived. So Parr is the royal survivor. What is expected is Parr. Parr for a hole in golf is what is what a top player is expected to take in terms of number of shots. To an audience is a homophone indicator because Parr is spelt with only one R in the golfing sense. So there we go. Every clue solved. Every clue explained. No empty squares. Submit. Submit. Hope and pray. No errors. Fantastic. Wow, that was great fun. Absolutely super puzzle. And a real nerve-wracking moment with par, which I think could have could have occupied a lot more time. With this, when you get to a situation like this with a clue, it it's very difficult to know what is going to cause the penny to drop, if indeed anything does. But fortunately, most times the penny does drop and there's a, a good sense of relief. But a super puzzle and lots of splendid words and beautifully constructed clues. I was at the listener crossword setters dinner on Saturday night. And one of the aspects of the evening is that each of the tables has to construct a clue for a given for a given word and they're then judged and the winner gets a box of chocolates but just the process of constructing a clue when you're in that situation reminds you of just how impressive it is these people who set these top crosswords like the times and the listener i with my table i spent about over half an hour trying to come up with a decent clue for for Robin Hood and it was just incredibly difficult and the winning clue from a neighbouring table was absolutely stunning. So I, I don't recall the clue otherwise I would I would disclose it now but it was a really beautiful clue and a reminder of what an art and a skill it is, clue construction but and very much ex exemplified in the puzzles published by the Times. In respect to the snitch for this puzzle I would say it's probably in the in the 70s, but a super puzzle. 
So I hope you enjoyed watching that solve. Like, comment and subscribe and I will see you next times.